Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our thought for the day. Jesus had come to the attention of the ruling council of the temple. Their concerns were that he was destabilizing force and could possibly bring the wrath of Rome on the nation. So a decision was made, the life of one man, for the continuing safety and prosperity of the nation. So simple and yet so wrong. It clothed the desire of the priests and the Pharisees to continue to be seen as the spiritual leaders of the nation in respectability. St. John takes the words of the men of power and gives them a prophetic meaning. Jesus was about to die for the nation, but not just for the nation, but to gather into one the dispersed children of God. God's people were not just in Jerusalem, but across the whole of creation. On this day of reflection, when we remember the first anniversary of lockdown and the deaths of in the region of 125,000 people in the United Kingdom, and we give thanks for those who have sacrificially worked to help even more recover from the illness. We give thanks too for all who've worked hard to keep even more people safe from the illness. But the pandemic is global. So the numbers for the United Kingdom are multiplied many times over in many nations of the world. On our nation's day of reflection, Remember the dispersed children of God. They are very important in the eyes of God and should be in ours too. Let us pray. Christ, the good shepherd, enfold us with love, fill us with peace and lead us in hope to the end of our days. Amen. <laughs>